Hi yogis, welcome to your practice. We're going to do a fairly short flow into yin, no props needed. Um, you're welcome to have a book or a block or something with you if you need a bit of elevation for the hips, but it's not necessarily sequenced in. So we're going to start in a seated cross leg with your right leg in front of your left. Come on down, rest the palms on the knees, wrap the fingers around the front of the knees and then sit tall. Close down your eyes. As you inhale, shrug the shoulders up to your ears. And as you exhale, just release and drop them down. Do that two more times. Inhale, shoulders shrug. Exhale, drop. And one more time. Inhale, shrug. And drop. Notice that the shoulders might feel like they can fall further from the ears. Take a full breath. And begin to draw belly to spine. As you fold forward, you can walk your arms forward. Some of you might rest forearms to the ground and then tuck your chin in towards your chest, letting the back of the neck lengthen. If you're on your fingertips and not very far folded, that's absolutely okay as well. If you're not feeling much in your hips, you might want to shuffle your sit bones back an inch or so. You might even start to press the heels and the balls of the feet away from each other. The toes will pull back to their knees. And let the chest be heavy as the torso relaxes over the low body. Take two more breaths here. If you're on your forearm, stay in your fold, but just come to your fingertips so you can lengthen the spine all the way sacrum to crown. And then keep lengthening, lengthening the spine as you walk your hands over towards the left. Your right hip stays drawing back, so there's space down the right side body and the right waistline. Press your hands down and away from you, and then have a moment where you just roll around into the rib cage. Just notice what might be sneaking away in there. And if it feels good, you might relax into this side fold. You might rest your forehead towards the left knee. And just take a few breaths. If you lose sensation down that right side body, right waistline, just readjust so you can find it again. I like to walk the right hand further than the left. Let's take three more breaths here. And big breath in. Perhaps an open mouth breath out. And swoop your hands both over towards the right. Let the right fingertips come in line with the right hip. Press down into the right hand, square and lift the chest to the front, left arm reaches overhead and bend the left elbow, catch the hand behind the head and turn the head past that left armpit. Keep pressing down and away through the right hand, keep your left sit bones grounded.
And just take three more breaths right into the left side body. One more breath. Good. Inhale as you rise on up, both hands behind head, interlace the hands. And then just take a big circle, chin to chest, all the way. And just take that circle the other direction, leaning to the right, then chin to chest, opening the front body. Release your hands down to the mat, fingers point forward, heels of hands back, release your feet hip width, press down into the hips, scooping up. And you can drop your head back if that feels good. Full breath in. As you exhale, lower the sit bones down. Take a cross of your leg, your left will be in front of your right. Sit tall, hands towards your knees. As you inhale, shrug the shoulders to the ears. As you exhale, let them fall. Shrug. And fall. Shrug. And fall. Breath in and fold, perhaps forearms or fingertips, chin pulls in towards your chest as you lengthen the back of the neck, try not to let the shoulders scoop up to the ears, keep drawing them down the back, and we take a bit of time here, it's around about a minute, There's some tone through the low body, heels, balls of feet, not aggressively, but gently pressing away. It'll help protect the knees, It'll access the hips. But there's absolutely a softening of the chest. See if you can really connect in with your breath as you're down here. If you lengthen the breath and deepen it and let your focus rest on it, it will inadvertently help release tension in the rest of your body. All the systems work together in this high functioning community. Just a couple more here. And hug belly to spine. Stay in your fold, but come to your fingertips if you were down low. And then really lengthen from crown all the way down the back body. Start to walk your hands over towards the right. Keep your left hip drawing back here so you can feel that left side body lengthen. Take a breath in. Play with the set of your rib cage. It'll roll around. These are subtle movements. And then if it feels good to fold and relax over the right thigh, maybe forehead to right knee, go ahead and do that. Stay connected with the length in the left side body. I really like to walk my left hand further than my right. You might be able to kind of visualize your breath pushing more into the left lung than the right. And a couple more breaths here.
Take a big breath in. Maybe open mouth, exhale. And begin to walk your hands over towards the left. Left hand will drop to the mat in line with the hip as you press down and away, peeling the chest open square to the front. Bend your right elbow, cup the hand behind the head and look past the right armpit. Take some breaths into the right side body, spreading the ribs, lengthening the waist. And one more. As you inhale, raise up, interlace the hands behind the head. As you exhale, one circle. You can use as much of the torso as you like to circle. And then one in the opposite direction. Release hands from the head, place them behind you, fingers forward, feet, hip width. Inhale, temple pose, lift the hips. Maybe drop the head back. Full breath in. Exhale, chin to chest, buttocks to the mat. You can cross at your ankles as you come all the way up and over. Uttanasana, forward fold, top of your mat, top of your mat. Feet hip width, maybe a touch narrower. Some of you may prefer to work with your feet together. It's personal choice. Let the head be heavy. Take one big breath in. Lift the sit bones higher to the ceiling. Exhale, fold in on yourself. Inhale, half away lift. Look forward. Stay for the exhale. Evenly weight your feet. Left hand stays down, breath in, right arm unpeels to the sky. Start to generously bend your left knee. Full breath in. Exhale, bring your right hand down, fold deeply. Halfway lift, breath in. Stay for the breath out, lengthen. Left hand unpeels, right knee will bend, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale all the way to stand. Adva Hastasana. Keep your belly hugging in as you rise tall. Exhale, hands interlace behind you. Catch a bind. Don't puff your chest forward. Rather, keep the low ribs hugging in, but draw the shoulder blades down and the fist away. Full breath in. Soften your knees, exhale to fold. Release your bind, chair pose, ukatas. Weight the heels. Exhale, left foot steps back, arrowhead. Inhale as you rise up, warrior one. Exhale, interlace the hands behind. Straighten your right leg, breath in, lift up. Exhale, bend the knee, bow and fold, humble. Release through your bind, inhale, warrior one, rise tall. Exhale, straighten your right leg, wing your arms back and your heart forward. Inhale, arms reach forward, warrior three, float the left leg. Exhale for arrowhead, land the foot, wing the arms back. Two more times, inhale, warrior three, float. Exhale, arrow, land quietly. One more time, inhale, vera three. Exhale, step and fold, top of your mat. All the way to stand, reach for the ceiling, lift, look up. 
Hands to heart, breath out. Chair pose, breath in. Sit deep, breath out. Right foot goes back, arrow head. Drop the heel as you rise, warrior one. Interlace the hands, exhale. Inhale, straighten the left leg, lift the heart, look up. Breath out, bend the knee and bow, humble, release. Inhale, all the way back up, warrior one. Straighten through the left leg, crown forward, arms back, half fold. As you inhale, warrior three, arms swing forward, float the right leg. Exhale, arrowhead, take it back. Two more times. Inhale, forward, float. Exhale, take it back. And it doesn't have to be a lot. Inhale, forward, float, last. Exhale, standing fold, top of the mat, head heavy. All the way to stand, root down to rise tall. Hands pull into heart, breath out. We're going to do that again. Chair pose for the inhale. Sit deep, exhale. Another in. Left foot goes back, arrow breath out. Drop the heel, warrior one. Right hip draws back. Hands interlace for the breath out. Straighten the leg, lift the heart. Bend the knee, bow, humble. Release the bind, warrior one, rise tall. Straighten your right leg, hips draw back, wing the arms back, bow. Warrior three, arms forward. You can modify hands to mat. Arrowhead, soft landing, left toes, arms back. Two more times, inhale, float forward. Take it back. One more time, inhale, float forward. Fold to the top of your mat, let it go. All the way to stand, reach for the ceiling, lift tall. Hands to heart, exhale. Chair pose, ukatas. Sit a little deeper, full breath in. Right foot steps back, arms wing back, arrow. Drop the heel to the mat, warrior one, reach tall, look up. Hands interlace behind, breath out. Inhale, straighten your left leg, lift the sternum. Exhale, bend the knee and bow in. Release, warrior one, reach for the ceiling, inhale. Straighten your left leg, left hip pulls back, please, as your arms wing back. Inhale, warrior three, arms forward, automat, right leg lifts. Exhale for arrow, land. Two more times. Inhale, fly. And land. Last time, fly. Uttanasana, standing forward fold, top of your mat, let it go. All the way to stand, reach on up. Exhale, hands pull to heart, chin to chest. Reach high for the breath in. It will be a standing split, so pivot your fingers to the mat and your left leg as high as you can. Think forehead to right shin. Keep the shoulders from the ears. Keep the belly strong. Lift that right kneecap. One more big breath in. As you exhale, land your left knee to the outside of your right foot. Sit down to the inside of your left heel. Breath in, be tall. Lift your left arm up. As you exhale, twist over to the right. Full inhale. Stay breath out. 
Another breath in. Release the twist, breath out. Either cross leg or stack the knees, Gombokasana. Full inhale, sit tall. Fold and explore your edge, breath out. If you need to release that lower leg, that's your left leg long and forward and take the half variation, that's perfectly okay. It's much more gentle on the hips and on the knees. You'll still get something good. And you're here for a couple of minutes, but through a few variations, just leaning into the stillness. Notice if you've got a little busy mind today. Just see what you can do to settle that. And this class is designed just to be, I guess, a full-bodied practice, but in this short time of half an hour-ish. And we often think it's not enough, but it's about consistency of practice rather than necessarily the length of the practice. So actually half an hour every day is better than three hours on a Saturday. It's about learning commitment and discipline and just reintroducing your body and re-reminding your body about these shapes. You will remember quickly and you will notice change. Keep your legs come to your fingertips as you lengthen your spine. And then just walk your hands over to the right, both to the outside of your right leg. And you may stay here, or you might start to fold over to the right. Keeping that left hip drawing down and away, really grounding through left sit bone in particular over right. Take three more breaths. Keep your right hand down in line with your hip. Press down and away through the hand as you lift the chest. Cup your left palm behind your head. Turn your gaze left armpit. Soften your right elbow and get spacious in that left side. Full breath in. Exhale. Inhale as you come all the way up. Ground the sole of your right foot. Come forward into your right foot. Kick your left leg maybe halfway or maybe all the way to the sky back where we came from. Catch your balance, hug your belly. Start to float your hands. Adva Hastasana, lift up. Inhale. Hands to your heart. Breath out. Arms go high, breath in. It's your right leg standing, splits. A bit like a pendulum, sink on down. Take a couple of breaths, head heavy. 
Don't let the shoulders come to the ears. Keep drawing them down the back. Energize both legs. Kick as high as you can with your right leg. One more inhale. Exhale, land your right knee to the outside of your left foot and sit to the inside of your right heel. Left hand behind, right arm high. Hooking the elbow to the outside of the left thigh. Just two breaths into twist, big breath in. Exhale. Again, breath in. And out. Release the twist. Ngombokasana, your legs. So you might need to readjust your sit bones to narrow and stack the knees. Maybe that block underneath you, or you can roll up the back of your mat and pop it underneath your bum to elevate your hips. Breath in. And fold. Find the edge, wherever that is. You can relax. And once more, connecting in with the natural rhythmic flow of your breath. Riding each wave. Let it tumble around inside. And let it wash the body clean. Couple more breaths. Lengthen the spine, come to the fingertips. Both hands to the outside of the left leg, right hip draws back, right sit bone grounds as you fold towards the left. Stay connected with the additional sensation you just created through the right side body. Notice what tiny adjustments you can make to your exact shape that just changes things for you. It's a few more breaths here. Probably the hips are starting to feel, well, there's probably a lot of feedback there. It's okay, it'll pass shortly. Don't let that sensation build. And then when we release the pose, it'll feel so good.
Creep that left hand down in line with your left hip. Press down and away. Lift and square the chest. Cup your right palm behind your head. Turn your head to your right armpit. Just one more big breath, right side body. Inhale as you raise up. Just ground the sole of your left foot. Coming back into that standing split. It's a little tricky after such a deep, juicy hip opener. It might not feel so stable, so be careful. Hold. Hover and lighten the hands all the way back up. Urdhva Hastasana, land the right foot as the arms go high. Hands pull to heart. Inhale, reach high. Exhale to fold, let it go. Take a halfway lift here. And release. Step back into downward facing dog. Rock forward into plank. Deliver your knees to the mat. Keep pressing down through the hands as you bend the elbows, supported chaturanga. Scoop forward and up, up dog. Cobra if you're modifying. Drop your knees. Separate them. Take it back. Child's pose. Three breaths. Long in. And out. Long in. And out. The last one. Deep breath in. Parted lips, audible, exhale, out. Hug belly to spine, roll on up to your kneel. You can stay knees apart or scoop knees together. Palms to your thighs, shoulders drop from ears, close your eyes. breath in, palms to prayer, forehead to fingertips, exhale, thank you for your practice, namaste.